Congratulations to the new homeowners. Hey, South Florida, it's your realtor, Julio Gonzalez. In this last installment of my Getting Ready to Buy a Home series, we're going to put a bow on your purchase and talk a bit about what to expect. By now, you've likely talked to movers and scheduled the move day and envisioned new paint colors and window treatments. A new home is very exciting and new homeowners often go overboard with everything they want to do their first week or month. Make a list of all the things you want to do to your new home. Be realistic. You may not have as much time nor as much money as you think, so prioritizing your to-dos is important. The most common first improvement is painting. You'll likely want to see your own colors on your new walls. Black colors seem to be mostly out of style, but gloss only goes well on certain surfaces, and eggshell or satin is visually appealing and washes well. Also, most paint stores will save your colors for you so that a year or two later, you don't have to guess which shade of blue you used in the bathroom. Typically after paint is when most people move. Moving can be fun and it can also be exhausting. Give yourself ample time to pack and unpack. A good moving company goes a long way here. A full move is not really a do-it-yourself project. Properly label all boxes so you don't have to guess where the TV remote is later. Most importantly, don't overly stress yourself about having to unpack immediately. There's enough stress with the move as it is to be stressing yourself out because there are two boxes left. When we moved a few years ago, we had a room with boxes that went unpacked for six months. We had labeled everything so we knew what was where, but those boxes weren't needed in our day-to-day -day lives, so we just didn't prioritize them. We preferred to focus on more important items. Let's talk about discounts. When you submit your address change to the post office, go to usps.com and look for the mover's guide. They'll send you a packet which includes discounts. Those often include discounts for movers and home improvement companies, so take advantage. You can also ask a lot of companies if they have moving or new homeowner discounts. Longer term, you may determine you need help with some resources, whether a plumbing or electrical issue or just needing a gardener. You can turn to Facebook, Angie, or Nextdoor, but your realtor can often be the best resource as we tend to have locals familiar with your neighborhood who can help, so don't hesitate to reach out. This is also an important time for your realtor. How was the service your realtor provided? We take great pride in helping our customers get into their new home. We will ask you for a review and to talk to your friends, families, and neighbors so you can refer them when they're ready to buy or sell. We depend on you, so we will reach out from time to time to see how the new home is working out and remind you to think of the great job we did for you. Last and most important, don't forget to celebrate your new home. Something as simple as brownies or breaking open a pint of haagen -Dazs take a moment to mark and celebrate your achievement. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for checking out the entire series. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my social media and blog by clicking the link in my bio. Thanks and enjoy the sunshine.